All right, what's going on, guys? It's Jed. We're back here over on some more Bloodborne. And real quick, I want to thank everybody for all the love and support on this series all together. And literally, people are bleeding over into the comment sections of my other videos asking for more Bloodborne. So we're back here with some more Bloodborne. In the last video, I was actually stuck over on the uh, Shadows of Yarno. And a similar thing happened to me with the uh, Blood Star Beast, where I stopped recording because it was getting late and I needed to be able to upload the video in time. Because, yeah, these videos might be around 10 minutes, but that doesn't mean that I spent 10 minutes recording and trying to figure out where I'm even supposed to be. I ended up coming back and beating the Bloodstar Beast. Well, I did the same thing yesterday uh, against the Shadows of Yarnum. One issue is that... Oh, I just fired my last bullet. Okay, nice. Uh, one issue, though. The gameplay is completely corrupted. Uh, I can show you guys, like, a little clip of it. Uh, epilepsy warning, by the way. Epilepsy warning. I'm gonna be showing something that has some, like, flashing and color changes. And also, I I'm turning the volume down because it's super loud. <laughs> So, yeah, um, if it weren't for all the flashing and stuff, I would have tried to, like, turn it down a little bit and try, but it's, like, completely destroyed. So, I, I mean, I, I beat them. Honestly, by sheer luck, I almost died again right at the end, but, uh, they're dead. So, yeah. And with that said, though, I've been having people tell me to go and, uh, get some new weapon or something that is apparently available for me. They were saying, uh, some door opened, I think, over in the, uh, Cathedral Ward or something. Oh, and just to show you guys that they're dead, I mean, if I go over here, yeah, we came from there, ended up doing the boss fight right here, and then we can continue forward, but I'm not gonna continue forward yet. I wanna go and get this new weapon that people have been telling me about. So, if you're enjoying these Bloodborne videos leave a like on this video they've been getting like over 30 40 thousand likes so just thank you so much for that and also if you're new here subscribe i upload basically every single day yesterday i uploaded some call of duty i just i play whatever and this comment says to go to the right in the cathedral ward also some other people were saying to go in a different direction from vicar amelia's uh area and apparently there's some sort of optional boss over there as well i i, I don't know yeah right here okay so apparently this door I, I don't remember this door being there before but apparently this door opened now after i killed the bosses this is bait. I knew it. Gatling gun wheelchair man. Communion. I don't know what that means. He said to just go over here and there should be like a weapon or something. Open up this chest. There's no mimics in this game, right? Blood tinged gemstone. I'm telling you, if I didn't go and kill the boss on that last run that I was doing, I, I was then I would have had to go farm some more. And uh, yeah, it just, I was getting very upset. People were telling me that I'm also definitely under leveled. Oh, there's a thing on the ground. The sky and the cosmos are one. The choir. Uh, so I'm just gonna spend some time killing things and try to level up some more. Uh, these guys have flamethrowers, Gatling guns, rifles. At least I got all my bullets back. Radiant Sword Hunter Badge. I think that's the thing that they told me to get. So they're saying that this badge is supposed to... Oh, shit. Wait, what is this? Locked. Where's that Radiant Sword Hunter Badge? For Ludwig's successors. I don't know what that means. Uh, and then I guess apparently that is supposed to give me access to a new weapon. I thought there was a new weapon up here. It said there was a badge and then I turned the badge in somewhere. <gasps> I hate my life. Oh, there it is. That's what it is. Okay, that's what they were talking about right here. Ludwig's Holy Blade. Requires 16 strength, 12 skill. Is that the uh, Moonlight Greatsword? It doesn't look like it. Apparently the Moonlight Greatsword and this sword are two different weapons. Okay. I don't have 20k though. Sh I guess I go back to the Forbidden Woods and like farm a little bit. Because those guys gave so much stuff. The thing that I'm worried about is that I have to get that 20k to go and get the new weapon. And then I have to worry about actually having the upgrade materials that hopefully will be doing more damage than my current weapon. Okay, do I want to go down there or fight these guys? I think I'll just fight these guys and see how much I get. 695? Okay, I could definitely get 20k easy doing it this way. Even the dogs are giving 500. Holy shit. Ow, fuck. I didn't even know that was a thing because I cleared that out before. I, I just don't remember all of this area. I hate this area. It's so bad, but it's so good for farming. All right, well, I'll farm my way back up to that point and I'll have near 20k. I'm dead again! I lost the 9k. Oh my. Farming isn't even easy on this game. It's so fucking annoying. Oh my god. It's a fucking cannon! I needed one more kill and then I was just gonna pop the blood thing. He said in order to get some of my uh, blood echoes back, I need to get it back from like the glowing guy. That guy over there has glowing eyes. Okay, I gotta get this guy off the uh, cannon. Okay, got him off. Okay, blood echoes back. I got 35k. Now I just need to go and kill this guy. Now let's uh, use that item. Yes, reawaken. 
<sighs> it was such a struggle. Also, I had some guy tweet at me that was like really angry at the way that I was playing the game. I'm gonna assume that he didn't watch me play my Elden Ring playthrough or some shit like that. He's like, you're just rushing through and killing all of the bosses and stuff without absorbing any of the lore. It's like, these games are very mysterious in the way that the lore actually like explains itself. And I've been asking questions and I have been curious about it, but I'm also not gonna drag this series on where I don't end up fighting a boss somewhere in the end. Like by the time I make my 10th video on here where I'm sitting here wandering around in the fucking dark and I'm not sitting here just looking over one of these landscapes going, oh wow, it's so beautifully miserable. You think that's me not appreciating the lore of the game or something? Suck my dick, dude. I'm enjoying the game and then your smart ass wants to sit here and talk about how I don't understand the lore and some other shit. Of course I don't understand the lore. I haven't watched an entire video on this shit. Not usually common for anyone to completely grasp the lore in their first playthrough. Shut the fuck up. All right, Ludwig's Holy Blade. So we currently have this on which is uh, just physical attack. We get that extra beast damage, sure. I'm definitely afraid that I'm gonna be missing that. But then we look at this holy blade, and it's definitely weaker. So this is like, what, uh, 186? And this is 127. So we're gonna have to upgrade this until it gets past that 186. Otherwise, I don't feel very comfortable using it. Also, before I actually upgrade, let me try to use it really quick. Ludwig's holy blade. So you got this version of it, which swings this around. Cool. And then we got a charge R2 cool thrust attack and then we got the special version oh it turns into a great sword yeah oh listen to the sound holy fuck gonna charge r2 another thrust okay cool nice what's my uh running r1 all right it's a wide swing and what's the running r2 the overhead swing just like an elden ring got it all right so let's upgrade this as much as we possibly can and see where that lands yes 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 Yes, I need one more twin bloodstone shard, but this is definitely already doing more damage So then we go to gem fortification pull the gems out of this and then we go to the holy blade We want to put this one on and then go to the second slot and then put this one on That's the best combo I can do so now instead of it doing like around 180 190 this does uh 210 All right, so it's definitely stronger now. All right, cool. Let's continue. Don't have to go back to that forest anymore. Oh, and I can level up. I'm going to get more HP because people have been yelling at me to get more HP. Yeah, I guess so. They keep saying I seem underleveled, so. Now we got a new shiny weapon, fully upgraded. Thank you so much for the comments as well. And now I'm going to go back to this uh, Forbidden Grave and then go forward past this point and hopefully we can end up running into a ball uh, somewhere because I just wasted, no joke, 40 minutes of me doing that. To you guys, it looks like a couple minutes. To me, it's 40 minutes of me stumbling around dying repeatedly. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, that charge R2 did crazy damage. All right, Bergenworth, Bjergenworth. Let's look over on the right side over here. I'm gonna assume I can't go through here, right? Of course I can. When I do my uh, trick attacks though. What the fuck? Okay, so if I swing this. Oh. Oh my goodness, what are these? Oh, I am liking this blade though. I don't know what that thing at the top is though. One of them grabbed me and it made everything sound scary. I, I don't really know. It, it grabbed me through my... That's the same shit that killed me in Arch Thrones. I expected my charged R2 from a heavy weapon to, I don't know, stagger him out of the grab. Also, the charge takes much longer than I always anticipate. Uh, hello? Does not open from this side, okay. Seems like there's only one place to go then. What the fuck is that? What is the- Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I don't think I want to fight that thing. I'll be honest. And I'm gonna assume that's Madman's knowledge over there. So I'm just gonna ignore this. Run by, run by, run by, run by, run, 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 run. Okay, that's the gate to this. I still have to run past this thing. Where am I supposed to go? Wait, I'm confused. Where am I supposed to go? Okay, but where do I go? Oh, I didn't notice this. Sorry. Wait, there's a door. Grab this. Pearl Slug. I don't know what that is. I have these items that could probably help me and I just have no idea what they are. I think this is the door that was on the other side of the building. Yeah, it is. Okay. Who the fuck are you? Wait, it's another hunter. What does this do? Ringing old hunter bell. What? I'm gonna run from this guy. Wait, it's summoning help. I didn't want to do that. Get him, Damien. I've never killed one of these hunter guys before other than that dude that was at the top. Got him. Let's fucking go, Damien. Blue elixir. What does that do? Make still bodies undetectable. Does he just follow me? I didn't mean to summon him. I had no idea what that did, but I guess he's coming with me. 
Does he follow? Like, all the way up? I don't think he does. Aw, oh, man. Lunarium key. One, two, three. Empty phantasm shell. Okay, uh, there's nowhere else to go up here. Would Damien follow me around, like, outside? Can I go this way? Oh, Lunarium key. Talk. Who are you? He's pointing at something. Like the moon or something? I mean, this is pretty and all, but um, what am I supposed to do? Wait, there's that item there. I, I don't get it. Wants me to go to the moon or some shit? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, he's just pointing. Maybe I'm supposed to somehow give him, like, sedative or something? No, that doesn't work. Um, the water looks a little different right here. I think that's just, like, some weird effect. But there's literally nowhere else to go. I mean, unless I go and kill that thing down there... I'm afraid to fight it, and if it kills me, I'm gonna be incredibly- That thing, right there, you see that? That thing looks like an absolute mess to fight. I don't wanna fight it. I think I'm good. All right, well, I'll try to jump down in the hole then. Whee! I'm dead. Wait! That shit actually worked! This shit's like Renala. Uh, hello? Hey, what is this? Whoa, it's actually a boss. Wait, these things are strong as fuck. Wait, Damien's in here. Well, how is Damien here? Okay, so their heads take less damage, but their bodies are soft. I didn't mean to summon Damien. Everyone's gonna get mad at me. I didn't mean to do that. Ooh! I need to, like, run around and then just, like, do a quick little swing on him. Oh, shit. Oh, and then he spawns over here. What the fuck is that sound? What the fuck? Oh no. Oh my god! Damien, help! Do something! Damien's dead. I'm fucking dead. Damien really didn't help at all. He was kind of distracting the spiders, but not really. <laughs> They're really just like hugging. I'm dead. I died. Holy f- Okay, this seems like an easy boss, but why does everything hurt so bad? Should I get different armor? I what the fuck is hitting me? I don't understand what's hitting me at all. Holy shit. I have to go farm more uh, HP stuff. I got a lot of time for me to stand there because if I try to stand there and just swing at the, into the body of the thing, spiders come over and hit me and they kill me in three hits. Summoning even more spiders. There's so many spiders that they're moving in two FPS. Dead. Holy shit, there are so many spiders. How do I even get to this fucking thing? What do I do? There's so much happening and there's so much damage for nothing. Okay, he doesn't seem to attack on phase one. So if I get rid of all of these, maybe the other phases will be easier. Ooh. Even if I had 30 more HP stat, it doesn't fucking matter. That shit just hits me for all of my HP. No way to get away from it either because when he just starts bending and doing all this weird shit he just explodes you can't get out of the way in time just got hit by a random spider I really dislike the fact that farming is a part of it and you can't easily reset the area. You have to go back to the Hunter's Dream to reset the area. Like, I spend so much time in this loading screen and if there was, like, a PC version of the game, for example, like, if and when they hopefully remaster this whole thing so I can have a superior experience on it, the loading screens are brutal on here. Like, I sit around loading over and over and over again. Elden Ring, I didn't really deal with that because there was no farming, so I didn't have to sit there and keep resetting my thing, going back to the thing, coming back to Central Yardum to go and farm those things over and over and over. I just didn't have to do that. It just feels like there's significantly more time just being spent just in loading screens and shit. That's how the game is. I get it. I guess it adds to the difficulty, but it just feels like more of a waste of time than anything. I feel like a charge R2 is the way to go at this point. Mm! Next one, I just gotta clear the spiders out again. Okay. This is it. 
though. This is it. Okay, you had to kill the ads. At least for me, I had to kill the ads right there. I killed every single ad, every single thing. Rom the vacuous spider. Dumbest fucking boss I've ever fought in my life. God damn, this shit is frustrating. Hello? Oh, that looks not good. Okay. Is the moon crashing into us, or...? Okay, I definitely don't understand what's going on, but... To be fair, anyone at this point doesn't really understand either. On their first playthrough. I'm definitely gonna watch a ton of lore vid- Ritual secret broken. Seek the nightmare reborn. What is that? What is this area? Do I go down or up? What's down here? Did it try to grab me? Yahargul, what the fuck? Unseen village. Oh, there's more than one of those things. What happened to everything? This shit reminds me of when we, uh, when we burned the tree before. It, like, changed everything. So, wait, we killed some random spider thing in the middle of the water and somehow aliens or some shit is here? Okay, I'm going back to the hunter's dream, man. I'm gonna go level up. I don't know. What the fuck? I feel like the sky changed a little bit here. It's, like, kind of red. Well, I mean, I do enjoy this new weapon, so thanks for letting me know where it is. Uh, yeah. that's another boss down. Right, we can do two more levels. Let's go into strength now. Okay, and then, uh, we can use some cold blood. And then one more into skill. We're currently level 40. Am I underleveled now or am I caught up yet? I mean, I'll figure it out in the future. 